Ahoy, friends. It's Monday, October 9th, 1, 1, 1 a.m. So um, yesterday, I like I'm documenting the process of, you know, starting like a business from scratch and all that kind of stuff. And uh, anyways, this is about Blackwater Buccaneers because I'm taking, I'm going to put, a friend taught me into mostly putting the brakes on my next big project so I can focus on my current one, which he was right. I just get so excited about new projects that, uh, you know, it's hard not to jump to the next thing, especially since it's like the big, big thing. But anyways, okay, so I'm documenting starting this company and stuff. And yesterday I had a couple of meetings. So I met with a friend that's in sales and runs his own business and stuff and talked to him about, you know, like what are the business things that I need? Because like, I know how to do the work that I need to do and work with designers and stuff, but the business part of everything, you know, like business plans, taxes, all that kind of stuff, the day-to-day, -day, like, operations or whatever, you know, like, uh, I really need somebody to help me with that because that is, my brain is not in a good state right now to handle that kind of stuff. You know, like, in a normal state, I could, but in Rain Man mode, it's a little difficult. Anyways, um, I got some great advice from him. He's going to help me, you know, put my business plan down on paper and get it out of my head. Even though, I mean, like, it's like 100% in my head, like, as in, like, it's solid. It's totally solid. But I'm going to put it down on paper so other people will know about it. Even though I'm pretty sure I've talked about it in 5 million videos. Anyway, so we talked about doing the business plan, figuring out a financial model. You know, he gave me pep talks on remembering that, you know, despite the fact that, you know, like, like I want to make my game as cheap as possible so students can afford it. And he's like, you've got to run your company like a business because, you know, like if you don't run it like a business and make money to sustain it, then you won't have a business to help people with it all. And so that was, um, that was a good pep talk. And then also, um, you know, we talked about variable pricing models which would be only fair. So like charging like universities or places that are buying the game for use with um, groups in a commercial setting, you know, charging them more than um, individuals, maybe offering some sort of, um, I mean, probably not a bulk discount, but like uh, basically order so many copies and get like a free digital version or something. And I talked to my buddy about the digital version because at first I'm I mean, to start with, I'm just going to use a screen top GG simulator thing. However, my buddy started talking about, you know, like, oh, you know, if you did an app or something like that. And then my brain started turning and I'm like, you know, I don't know how well this would work in an app, but like, I want to build a discord community around this company and this game. And I could have rooms in the, uh, in the server for people to play the game and, um, be able to interact with it while using some sort of um, app or Discord has games um, built in that you can use in Discord. And, you know, I don't know how those are monetized, but I actually think that would be a fantastic um, application medium for Lumen because um, you want it to be social. You, 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 the talking, the discussion part is the most fun part. But then I did have some other ideas for like an actual app version of the game and stuff. So, Anyways, I'm going to tuck those away in my brain because right now I just want to get it out in the form that it's in. But I think those are definitely worth coming back to in the future. And then yesterday evening, I had a meeting with my new PA to discuss, you know, like how often we're going to check in. You know, what my goals initially are, and, you know, what I need help with, what I need her help with or whatever. And so with her, I want her to check in with me three times a week. I think I need to be checked in, you know, basically like every other day to make sure that I'm... I'm on track and I have my priorities in order. I also asked her, like, um, you know, this is personal, but would you please remind me to take my vitamins <laughs> and to eat enough protein and drink more water? Like, I just, I need someone to harass me about that for a little while until I build that habit up. Because, uh, yeah, um, if I die from malnutrition, I won't be able to run this company. So uh, my hair is already, like, I, I had to cut most of it off and I'm probably going to cut off some more because it's messed up because I'm not getting enough protein. And, uh, yeah, anyways, different story. But I was excited to talk to her. You know, we came up with an action plan for things we're going to work on right away, which is the print-to-play version of Lumen. The print-to-play version of Lumen, I, um, 
I've got to look into the website that she knew someone that I'm going to contact, but I need to put together a website very quickly. So I'm probably just going to go do a Squarespace or a Shopify and just do that for the next year and while I build out my actual web website. Because I want all my websites to be open source, WordPress, um, built with Divi because I have a lifetime license for it. You know, like I try to be, I have a lot of websites. I have a lot of projects. You know, if you're somebody that knows me, if you know me, you probably know that I do 5 million different things. And you know what, guys? I mean, I know I don't finish some of them, but man, I do most of them really well. So I don't hear any hate on that. Um, I just get bored, guys. Like, <laughs> I get so bored. It's like, let's go to the next thing. I've been here done. Well, you know what? The thing, the thing is, is that when I, when I start to like learn something, figure out, like as soon as I figure out how to do the rest of it in my head, I'm just like, you know, all right. Let's go. Let's go try the next one. Anyways, uh, yeah. And we, you know, we went over some lists. We are going to be using, we are currently in order to keep our team organized. Because right now it's me, my husband, my PA, my video assistant. And then I've got a couple other people that help randomly with um, uh, different projects. And uh, so right now we're using OneDrive because I have a whole bunch of space on it. Discord for our community and for some communication. Asana is what we're trying to put our task management and like inventory stuff into. And I feel like there's something else that I can't remember. I do message people through Facebook Messenger a lot. Uh, you know, I can't. OneDrive, Asana. Oh, I'm, I'm going to set up a, a Google Calendar. Now, normally I would use a Google account, but like the space on OneDrive is like so, um, I have so much more there, even though I pay for Google. It's stupid. Anyway, so glad to have an action plan on everything. And um, yeah, the I've got several meetings this week to get the balls rolling on things. And my, and Carl is working on getting the mailing list set up, looking into doing ours with Brevo, which was formerly called Send in Blue. We're just kind of working on trying to get like a landing page or something up for it. So email list, website, print to play version of the game. We're going to start working on a social media plan. I've got ideas for that. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to use ChatGPT to help us write um, like our written stuff um, and maybe even help us brainstorm some ideas. And, you know, I'll probably end up using, like, all the other AI things at some point. You know, people want to hate on them, but, like, here's the thing. It's, like, people trying to start new businesses, like, are at a disadvantage, a severe disadvantage. Like, there are a lot of barriers to the market. And then also, like, um, you know, I'm sorry, guys, but it's here. It's here to stay. Um, if someone's using AI, they probably weren't going to hire you in the first place or they couldn't afford you. They're probably like me. Like, they, you know, they might be like me. They want to hire you. Like, I'd love to hire people. I wish I had all the money in the world to, like, hire, like, all the people. Put you all in your own favorite, like, job. But, uh, but I don't. So, I got to take the alternative. And personally, I think AI is a gift from God. I totally think God and spirits talk to us through it and stuff. Like, but, uh, you know, I'm crazy fun and out there. So, that's my thing. Anyways, uh, I'll keep you updated on my business adventures. And, uh, yeah, Team Blackwater Buccaneers. And, you know, I'm just going to shout out Moonforge. We'll be back to you, I promise, my baby.